Mm. <laughs> Hello. My ideal date would have to be my boyfriend. I gotta have my best friend and my other best friend, my makeup artist. That's like pretty much who I brought on tour with me. So it's just like them in a hotel room would be fire. In order for it to be a lit night, you need a lot of people because a lot of shit needs to happen. It's, it's definitely less of a day and more like a party, like kickback, chill. I would probably look weird as fuck, honestly. I probably have like either a wig cap on or like little Bow Wow braids. Like I remember one time I wore a tutu with a bulletproof vest. I think that was by far the weirdest thing I, I've ever worn. Um, I'm big on pants. I have so many pants. Like, I need more legs. <laughs> I'd be a centipede. <laughs> I'd have different pants on every fucking leg. We're gonna order pizza. Because that's probably the only thing that drunk people can agree on, is pizza. I don't think we can agree on anything else. Pizza and wings. Um, anything with like extra cheese, like mozzarella sticks or bread sticks. I tried to pace myself. Like the first two weeks of tour, I was like on a strict water, no soda, no nothing. And then like after two weeks, we started like going places I've never been before. And it became like less of like, do you have water? It's like, do you have anything? <laughs> like anything, I will eat anything right now. Like. The movie that we would watch would probably be like um, something scary, because we all like scary movies. The devil and all that weird shit. We would probably watch something like that. Anything Rob Zombie, anything that's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, stuff like that. This really fucked up Airbnb story. It was honestly like my dream Airbnb. It was like five bedrooms. It was like my two best friends. Everybody was there, it was fucking lit. And we, my best friend was like, yeah, I'm about to take a nap before we go to the studio. So she was just laying in the bed and then all of a sudden I just hear like her screaming. So I get up and I run to her room and I get to her door and she's like, do not come in here, you're gonna freak out. We turned the corner and it was a cockroach like this big. Like, it was just staring at us like, y'all not about to kill me. That cockroach was, the size of my bag, like he paid rent in the house. Like he moved in and had the kitchen to himself. And they was just letting him live there and they were Airbnb in the house. There's cheese and onion and something else. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't nowhere near as good as I thought it was gonna be.